Hello everyone and welcome to the US Session Brief. We're on Thursday the 6th of April 2023. Just gone past 3pm here in Europe. That means we're 25 minutes away from the New York Open. Tomorrow is a market holiday so we're likely to see some lower liquidity today. Yesterday's ISM services were not great and neither were the ADP employment numbers. In fact, it's not been a good week at all for data releases out of the US. Um, Tomorrow is still Jobs Friday, the NFPs, and also we'll be getting the unemployment numbers and average hourly earnings um, around this time, actually, 30, a half an hour ago from now tomorrow. Mortgage rates declined slightly, and mortgage purchase applications data shows a decline of 3.5% week on week and minus 35% year on year. Uh, to 166.6 is the index to close out March. The housing sector continues to deteriorate. U.S. futures largely flat alongside the U.S. dollar index, oil and gold today. Not many moves, to be honest, so far. Yields slightly lower across the curve. Uh, Bitcoin edging slightly down. Uh, long bonds are up again this morning with junk bonds feeling some pressure. Um, to wrap up the day, I'll bring us up to speed of where we're at across Asia and Europe. Asian equities ended quite mixed today. Nikkei continued its recent sell-off, but was off its troughs of the day. Greater China edged higher, post stronger than expected PMI services data. Uh, South Korea led the uh, rest of uh, led the rest lower. Losses in Taiwan, Australia, and Southeast Asia. Uh, Australia has banned TikTok on official devices as concern spreads. Um, they've also the regulator uh, ASIC have also banned uh, or cancelled, I should say, Binance Australia's. AFSL, uh, so that's their license to basically sell um, or provide their services in Australia, their futures trading services for crypto derivatives. Um, in Europe, European equity markets slightly higher, real estate and utilities leading, consumer products and services and auto parts lagging. Bank of England survey shows firms expect inflation to ease, but well above the 2% target. No surprise there. German industrial production today, surprise to the upside. In Feb, up 2% month-on-month versus consensus for a 0.1% gain and prior 3.7% increase. Iran and Saudi's plot path to end rivalry that drove regional wars. The two countries' foreign ministers um, have held talks in Beijing. Abu Dhabi's second largest lender, Abu Dhabi Commercial Bank, is in talks to sell $3.7 billion of bad debt. In the Americas, Google and Amazon mass layoffs in Europe stalled because of labor productions, protections. Sorry, uh, Costco is down 2.6% circa in, in uh, pre-market trading after they published their monthly data showing the lowest U.S. sales growth in almost three years. Takeaways focused on a number of headwinds, including the continued trend of a difficult prior year comparisons, the continued shift one shift from discretionary big ticket to consumables, the deflationary impact in food and gas. Softer seasonals, lower tax refunds and SNAP benefits and heightened macro concerns stemming from the turmoil in the banking sector. On the calendar today, um, not much out of the US. To be honest, we've got the Fed's uh, Bullard, who's known as one of the more hawkish members. He's a non-voter though this year, uh, but still markets can uh, quite often be reactant. And because that's basically the highlight of the day, maybe we are going to be looking towards that uh, as being uh, as being the, the, the event risk of the day. Uh, the dollar yen is up slightly, gold edging slightly lower. You can see the doji bar, almost doji bar on gold yesterday, and we're just taking out that low. Um, so just watch out here because we really need to see this market hold now above 2,000 if we're going to get a continued push to the upside to retest the all-time highs. Looking at the S&P, we're set for a third straight uh, day to the downside. That's if we close below today as well, uh, close down today as well. You can see the high of the day just touching that 4100 mark, rejecting off there and just looking to travel to the downside at the minute. If we take out that low, then maybe it won't be too long before we start looking at levels such as 4045 will be my next downside target for the S&P. Uh, dollar yen, you can see here after that over, overhead rejection of 13350 this week, um, we've had three down days as well, much like, uh, well, almost like the S&P, but we are moving higher on the day today so far. Uh, oil has been pretty sideways ever since that huge gap up on Monday, um, bit indecisive to be quite honest, we are at some technical resistance, I've said that, um, but then we are also looking to hold above 80 as uh, the market basically looks uh, for a bit of price discovery I would say from here. That's it from my end, guys. US session brief done. See you all inside the chat room. Until next time, all the best with your trading and bye for now.